Canada is a country located in North America and is known for its natural beauty, diverse culture, and strong economy. It is the second largest country in the world by total area, and it has a population of over 37 million people. Canada has a federal system of government with a parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy. The country is known for its strong human rights record, high standard of living, and excellent education and healthcare systems. Canada is also a popular destination for immigrants, with a variety of programs and pathways for individuals to come and live and work in Canada permanently or temporarily. In addition to its natural beauty, Canada is also known for its diverse culture and friendly people. The country is home to a wide variety of ethnic and cultural groups, and it has two official languages, English and French. Canada's culture is a blend of indigenous, European, and Asian influences, and it is reflected in the country's art, music, cuisine, and festivals. Canada is also known for its strong economy and high standard of living. It is a developed country with a diverse economy that includes industries such as natural resources, manufacturing, and service sectors. The country has a low unemployment rate and a strong welfare system that helps to ensure that all citizens have access to basic needs such as healthcare and education. Furthermore, Canada is a popular destination for international students, with a wide range of universities and colleges offering high-quality education. The country's universities are consistently ranked among the best in the world and offer a diverse range of programs and degrees. All in all, Canada is a welcoming and inclusive country that offers a high standard of living, a strong economy, and a diverse culture. It is a great place to live, work, and study, and it welcomes people from all over the world to come and experience all that it has to offer. Canada offers several types of visas for individuals looking to visit, study, work, or immigrate to the country. Here is a list of some of the most common types of visas for Canada and a brief description of the application process for each. Tourist visa, a tourist visa, also known as a temporary resident visa, TRV, allows individuals to visit Canada for a short period of time, typically up to six months. To apply for a tourist visa, individuals must submit a completed application form, pay the application fee, and provide supporting documents, such as a valid passport, proof of financial support, and a letter of invitation from a Canadian resident. Study Permit A study permit allows individuals to study in Canada for a specific period of time. To apply for a study permit, individuals must have been accepted into a designated learning institution in Canada and must provide proof of financial support, a valid passport, and a police clearance certificate. Work Permit a work permit allows individuals to work in Canada on a temporary basis. To apply for a work permit, individuals must have a job offer from a Canadian employer, and the employer must have obtained a Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA, from Employment and Social Development Canada. Individuals must also provide a valid passport, proof of financial support, and a police clearance certificate. Express Entry Express Entry is a system for managing applications for permanent residents in Canada. Candidates must first create a profile and be accepted into the Express Entry pool. If they are selected from the pool, they will receive an invitation to apply ITA, for permanent residents. To be eligible for Express Entry, individuals must meet the criteria for one of the Federal Economic Immigration Programs, Federal Skilled Worker, Federal Skilled Trades, or Canadian Experience Class. Family Class Sponsorship Canadian citizens and permanent residents can sponsor their spouse, common law partner, conjugal partner, dependent child, including adopted child, and other eligible relatives to come to Canada as permanent residents. The sponsor must meet certain income requirements and sign an undertaking to provide for the basic needs of the person they are sponsoring. Business slash entrepreneur visa, business slash entrepreneur visa is for individuals who are interested in starting a business or investing in Canada. They can apply for this visa if they have the required net worth, business experience and a qualifying business in Canada or intend to invest or create jobs in Canada. 
The application process for this visa involves completing an application form, submitting a business plan, and providing documents that demonstrate the individual's business experience and net worth. Provincial Nominee Program PNP, Each province and territory in Canada has its own Provincial Nominee Program PNP, which allows them to nominate individuals who wish to immigrate to Canada and who meet certain criteria specific to the province or territory. Eligible individuals can apply for a PNP and, if nominated, can then apply for permanent residence through the express entry system. Caregiver Visa Caregiver Visa is for individuals who have the skills and experience to provide care for children, elderly or disabled persons in Canada. They can apply for this visa if they have a job offer from a Canadian employer, and the employer has obtained a Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA, from Employment and Social Development Canada. Live-in Caregiver Programme Live-in Caregiver Programme is for individuals who are interested in providing live-in care for children or elderly persons in Canada. They can apply for this visa if they have the required skills and experience, and they have a job offer from a Canadian employer. The employer must have obtained a Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA, from Employment and Social Development Canada. Supervisa Supervisa is for parents and grandparents of Canadian citizens or permanent residents. They can apply for this visa if they have a job offer from a Canadian employer, and the employer has obtained a Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA, from Employment and Social Development Canada. Atlantic Immigration Pilot AIP, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot AIP, is a program that allows employers in the four Atlantic provinces of Canada, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland and Labrador, to recruit and hire foreign workers and international graduates who meet the program's criteria. The AID program offers three streams, Atlantic International Graduate Program, Atlantic High Skilled Program and Atlantic Intermediate Skilled Program. Quebec Selected Skilled Worker Program, QSWP, the Quebec Selected Skilled Worker Program, QSWP, is a program that allows Quebec to select skilled workers who wish to immigrate to Quebec and have the qualifications and experience to contribute to the province's economy. The QSWP program is based on the express entry system, and eligible candidates must create a profile and be selected by Quebec to apply for a Quebec Selection Certificate CSQ. Agri-Food Pilot the AgriFood Pilot is a program that allows employers in the food processing and mushroom sectors to recruit and hire foreign workers who meet the program's criteria. The pilot program will run for three years, and it allows to recruit foreign workers for jobs that are in high demand and for which employers are unable to find Canadian citizens or permanent residents to fill. Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program SAWP, the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program SAWP, allows Canadian agricultural employers to hire foreign workers on a seasonal basis to fill labour shortages. The program is intended for temporary, low-skilled jobs such as planting, cultivating and harvesting crops. To participate in the program, employers must first obtain a Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA, and then can hire workers from participating countries. International Experience Canada IEC, International Experience Canada IEC, allows young people from certain countries to come to Canada and gain valuable international experience through working holiday, young professional, or co-op slash internship programs. The IEC program has different categories and quotas for each country, and eligible candidates must apply for a work permit and a biometric visa. Startup Visa Program the Startup Visa Program is for entrepreneurs who have a business idea and support from a designated organization, such as a venture capital fund or business incubator, to start their own business in Canada. To apply for this program, entrepreneurs must have a support letter from a designated organization and a business plan that meets certain criteria. The program aims to attract innovative entrepreneurs who can create jobs and drive economic growth in Canada. Self-Employed Persons Program The Self-Employed Persons Program is for individuals who have the experience and financial resources to be self-employed in Canada. 
To be eligible for this program, individuals must have experience in cultural activities or athletics, and they must intend and be able to make a significant contribution to the cultural or athletic life of Canada. They must also have a net worth of at least 300,000 Canadian dollars and demonstrate that they have the ability to create their own employment by establishing a business or purchasing a farm. Global Skills Strategy Visa The Global Skills Strategy Visa is for highly skilled workers who want to work in Canada temporarily. The visa is intended for workers who have a job offer from a Canadian employer, and the employer has obtained a Positive Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA. The program also includes a fast-track option for eligible workers, which allows them to receive a work permit within two weeks of submitting their application. Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot The Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot is a community-driven program that aims to attract and retain skilled workers in smaller communities and rural areas in Canada. The program is open to 11 communities across Canada, and it allows eligible candidates to apply for a work permit and then permanent residence through the Express Entry System. Resettlement Assistance Program RAP. The Resettlement Assistance Program RAP, is a program that helps newly arrived refugees and protected persons in Canada to settle and integrate into Canadian society. The program provides financial and other forms of assistance to eligible refugees, such as help finding housing, enrolling in language classes and finding a job. Humanitarian and Compassionate H &C, Visa This type of visa is for individuals who may not meet the requirements of other types of visa, but have compelling humanitarian or compassionate reasons for staying in Canada. This could include having a child in Canada, having strong ties to Canada, or facing hardship if forced to leave Canada. The application process for an H&C visa includes submitting a detailed application form and providing evidence to support the humanitarian and compassionate reasons for staying in Canada. Sponsorship for spouses, partners, and children, Canadian citizens and permanent residents can sponsor their spouses, common-law partners, conjugal partners, and dependent children to come to Canada as permanent residents. The sponsor must meet certain income requirements and sign an undertaking to provide for the basic needs of the person they are sponsoring. Sponsorship for parents and grandparents Canadian citizens and permanent residents can sponsor their parents and grandparents to come to Canada as permanent residents. The sponsor must meet certain income requirements and sign an undertaking to provide for the basic needs of the person they are sponsoring. Sponsorship for other eligible relatives Canadian citizens and permanent residents can sponsor certain other eligible relatives to come to Canada as permanent residents, such as brothers, sisters, nephews, nieces, or grandparents. The sponsor must meet certain income requirements and sign an undertaking to provide for the basic needs of the person they are sponsoring. Temporary Resident Permit TRP. TRP is for people who are inadmissible to Canada under immigration law but are allowed to enter or stay in Canada temporarily for urgent humanitarian and compassionate reasons or for significant public benefit. Criminal Rehabilitation This type of visa is for individuals who have been convicted of a crime but have completed their sentence and have been rehabilitated. It allows them to enter Canada without a temporary resident permit. Transit Visa a transit visa is required for individuals who need to pass through Canada while in transit to another country. This type of visa is required if the individual is not eligible for visa-free transit through Canada, such as if they need to leave the airport during their layover. To apply for a transit visa, individuals must submit a completed application form, pay the application fee, and provide supporting documents such as a valid passport, proof of onward travel, and proof of sufficient funds. Temporary Resident Visa for Medical Treatment TRV Mount. This type of visa is for individuals who are seeking medical treatment in Canada and who are not eligible for a standard visitor visa. To apply for a TRV Mount, individuals must submit a completed application form, pay the application fee, and provide supporting documents such as a valid passport, proof of financial support, and a letter from a Canadian medical professional confirming the need for medical treatment. Temporary Resident Permit TRP. 
This type of visa is for individuals who are inadmissible to Canada under immigration law but are allowed to enter or stay in Canada temporarily for urgent humanitarian and compassionate reasons or for significant public benefit. ETA, Electronic Travel Authorization, ETA is an entry requirement for visa-exempt foreign nationals traveling to Canada by air. ETA is electronically linked to a traveler's passport, and it is valid for five years or until the passport expires, whichever comes first. It can be obtained online, and it doesn't require the person to go to the Canadian consulate. Post-graduation work permit, PGWP, this type of visa is for international students who have graduated from a designated learning institution, DLI, in Canada and wish to gain work experience in Canada. A post-graduation work permit, PGWP, allows individuals to work in Canada for up to three years after graduation. To be eligible for a PGWP, individuals must have graduated from a program of study that was at least eight months long and must have held valid study permit during the time of the study. International Co-op, Internship, Visa, this type of visa is for international students who are enrolled in a post-secondary program in Canada and wish to complete a co-op or internship as part of their program. An international co-op, internship, visa allows individuals to work in Canada on a temporary basis while completing their studies. To be eligible for an international co-op, internship, visa, Individuals must have a valid study permit and must be enrolled in a program that includes a mandatory co-op or internship component. Canadian Experience Class CC, visa, this type of visa is for individuals who have Canadian work experience and wish to become permanent residents of Canada. The Canadian Experience Class CC, program is based on the Express Entry System and eligible candidates must have at least 12 months of full-time, or equivalent part-time, work experience in Canada in a skilled occupation within the last three years, and must meet the language and education requirements. The SEC program is designed to help individuals who have already established themselves in Canada and wish to make it their permanent home. Federal Skilled Trades Program FSTP, this type of visa is for individuals who are qualified in a skilled trade and wish to immigrate to Canada. The Federal Skilled Trades Program FSTP, is based on the Express Entry System and is for people who want to become permanent residents based on being qualified in a skilled trade. To be eligible for the FSTP, individuals must have at least two years of full-time work experience in a skilled trade within the last five years and meet the language and education requirements. Quebec Selected Skilled Worker Program QSWP, this type of visa is for skilled workers who wish to immigrate to the province of Quebec and have the qualifications and experience to contribute to the province's economy. The QSWP program is based on the express entry system and eligible candidates must create a profile and be selected by Quebec to apply for a Quebec Selection Certificate CSQ qualified immigration lawyer or consultant for more detailed and accurate information. Family Class Sponsorship – Canadian citizens and permanent residents can sponsor certain family members to come to Canada as permanent residents. This can include spouses, common-law partners, dependent children, parents and grandparents, and other eligible relatives. The sponsor must meet certain income requirements and sign an undertaking to provide for the basic needs of the person they are sponsoring. Business-slash-investor visa, this type of visa is for individuals who are interested in starting a business or investing in Canada. They can apply for this visa if they have the required net worth, business experience, and a qualifying business in Canada or intend to invest or create jobs in Canada. The application process for this visa involves completing an application form, submitting a business plan, and providing documents that demonstrate the individual's business experience and net worth. International Mobility Program This program allows Canadian employers to hire foreign workers without obtaining a Labour Market Impact Assessment LMIA, if the worker is covered by a bilateral agreement, such as the North American Free Trade Agreement NAFTA, or if the worker is eligible for an open work permit. Spousal Sponsorship Appeal This type of visa is for individuals whose spousal sponsorship application has been refused and they wish to appeal the decision. 
the sponsor and the sponsored person can submit an appeal to the Immigration Appeal Division IAD of the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada. Residency obligation, this type of visa is for permanent residents of Canada who need to meet the residency obligation of being physically present in Canada for at least two years out of every five years. If they do not meet this requirement, they may lose their permanent resident status. In conclusion, Canada is a beautiful and diverse country known for its natural beauty, friendly people, strong economy and high standard of living. It offers a wide range of opportunities for immigrants, students, and visitors. With a variety of programs and pathways for individuals to come and live and work in Canada permanently or temporarily, it welcomes people from all over the world to come and experience all that it has to offer. The country is also home to a wide variety of ethnic and cultural groups, and it has two official languages, English and French. It has a low unemployment rate, a strong welfare system and a diverse economy that includes industries such as natural resources, manufacturing, and service sectors. Overall, Canada is a great place to live, work, and study, and it is a welcoming and inclusive country for all.